Hey guys, welcome back. It's Dan here with Tree Book Reviews. Yes, I have my hat on and I'm going to be reviewing The Gunslinger by Stephen King. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Dan here. Um, yeah, quick review. I'm just going to do a spoiler-free review of The Gunslinger. I'm going to take my hat off now. Uh, this hat was actually made by one of my best friends. He does. Uh, he's like an amateur leather worker. He did a great job. It's a great hat. But, um, yeah, so let's kind of talk about The Gunslinger. Um, it, you know, if you guys like the channel, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe, as always. Uh, you know, please keep following me on my other Instagram, like on my Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you know, I do have a Discord channel below, so if you want to connect with me, you know, please feel free to join us and be a part of the community. But yeah, let's get into the, the Gunslinger. So it's the first book in the Dark Tower. Uh, for uh, A very interesting book, uh, I will say. A very short book, too. You know, the book, the copy I read was actually an illustrated edition. And has some beautiful illustrated pages. And so, I guess kind of a, a you know, a spoiler way to describe this book. You know, you're, you're meeting the Gunslinger, Roland. As he's, uh, you know, traveling through the desert, through the wastes. To chasing the man in black so um, this book's broken down up into I think it's like five different little books uh, or five different chapters that are named chapters um, and they're all kind of all little different stories but they're still following this um, this same thread so it was a very interesting book it was uh, it was also hard to follow at times too so you know you're following mainly the POV you're, you're following the POV of the gunslinger Roland you're following his journey through the desert and then you know with um, some characters he meets Jake and uh, you know eventually to find the man in black and get to the dark tower um, it's um it's actually a quite a philosophical book and it's it's not really what I expected like I expected like a shoot 'em up kind of just like dystopian Western which it is it's a total dystopian Western like you've no idea like this world is what world he's in like is he in um, like dead earth like you know centuries after humanity's fallen or is he in like an alternate earth or an alternate universe like who kn I have no idea You've, nothing's explained and he's chasing this man in black who's this um, kind of like, like an enchanter mage like figure that's just you know he wants he, he wants Roland like the gunslinger to catch him uh, and it's it's a weird trip he goes on where he's um, you know the the man in black's just throwing stuff at Roland and so um, that's really the basic kind of plot is you know you're meeting the gunslinger he meets a bunch of interesting characters he is kind of telling the tale you're watching him go through his uh, his trials to you know capture the man in black and um, you know so let's kind of really kind of get into like the world building and um you know the the writing in this book so i didn't super care for the writing in the book um this is really one of the first stephen kings i've read in a long time and uh, like my first i think it was like the body i read that back in high school i remember reading that just because i love the movie like stand by me and um yeah this one really didn't do it for me in terms of the writing like i don't think the writing was super clear um and it just seemed to tangent off a lot and like there'd be moments in the story where you know you wouldn't there wasn't a super clear where he wrote where roland's either in the past or in the present there was some parts that were really interesting where you're learning about roland's background and those are the most engaging parts i thought for me where you're learning about his past and he's kind of telling um you know this other character about his younger self and you know his upbringing and how he became a gunslinger and that was really cool i really enjoyed that but um it, the the language i don't think was super clear um in how stephen king destri described it here and i felt a little lost at times for such a short book um I, f I felt lost a lot actually and then over and i guess the world building like you 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 kind of figure out that you're in like a dystopian kind of future or uh dystopian world because you know the gunslinger he is the last gunslinger left so you know like humanity's kind of fallen he's um you just you just don't know a lot and not a lot's told to you and um yeah it's this is kind of where i felt like i just i just i just don't know enough and um you know it, it's a really hard book for me to rank because i didn't super enjoy it like i didn't super enjoy the writing style i didn't super enjoy the world building um the gunslinger is an interesting character but he's not like super relatable because he's kind of cold and um yeah it's it's 
I I wanted to really like this. Like, I, maybe I went in with really high expectations, wanting to like it, and it kind of fell flat for me. And um, at the end of the book, it really kind of just turns philosophical, and is um, it's really about talking about time and space and light, and it's it's a trip. I will say this felt like an acid trip. Not that I've done acid or anything, but like this felt like uh, it just it displaced me all the time and not in a good way where I kind of wouldn't thought like I would enjoy it it was really um just not something I could like I feel like I got much from it um so I guess to kind of get to my ranking is I would give this book like a C like you know my C tier my tier ranking buy it on ebook like I can safely buy an ebook like I have my copy here it's like an illustrated copy um it was good enough to recommend me to read it, just buy the ebook copy. Don't go out and buy a physical copy, or if you do, you know, buy a cheap one, like for a dollar or two. Like, uh... but I think it's interesting enough that I'm gonna continue with the series, read the second one at least. And if if the second one doesn't grip me, then I think I might put the Dark Tower down, and maybe realize that Stephen King isn't an author for me that I want to keep reading, and I might, you know, start unhauling some of these books. Um, but we'll see. Like I said. It, I'm intrigued. Uh, I didn't love this book, but um, you know, there I could see this book being good for some people. Where you know, it's it is that kind of shoot 'em up style, like uh, like it's like a dystopian western, which is which is kind of cool. Like it's it sounds really cool, but it's just I don't know. Just the way it was told felt weird, and it didn't. It didn't feel natural, and and maybe it's not. It's not supposed to feel natural. That's for sure. So, yeah, guys. In the end, uh, that's my rating for the Gunslinger. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.